up. They make carpets in China, uh, Egypt, uh, Iran, Persian carpets are pretty well uh, mm -hmm. known in the US, in Turkey as well. Now, now uh, like I said, they do make carpets in China, India, uh, Egypt. Now, I'm going to show you the biggest difference between the Turkish carpets and the rest of the technique. Now, this one over here is the uh, Turkish double line technique. And this one here is a uh, Persian single line. Okay. Some will be sold out over here. Okay. But the rest of them are sold to retailers. Uh, like the shops in Istanbul. Uh, have you been to Grand Bazaar? Yes. Mm -hmm. We sell lots of cars to Grand Bazaar as well. Crate and Barrel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Small ones. Yeah. Ari Barn? Yeah. yeah. Small ones. Okay. But we allow. Oh. It's a little bit scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can always go near. Yeah, nice oh, you can tell that she's done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Turkey is the uh, fifth uh, biggest silk producer in the world, after China, Brazil, Greece, and Japan. Yes. These Christians, they only eat the leaves of white mulberries, mm -hmm. and there are lots of mulberry trees out there. Although you can feed them with lettuce, but when you feed them with lettuce, you get pink silk out of them. That's what they do in Brazil, okay? That's a lower quality silk compared to this. Uh, we feed them for about 20 to 25 days. And I'll tell you how much they eat. Anywhere from seven to ten pounds. Oh. Well, they eat a lot. They drop a lot, too. But once they finish eating, they will enter the stage called the uh, chrysalis. Okay. That's when they will start wrapping themselves into these cocoons with these silk filaments which come out of their Ooh. mouths. Now, I'll tell you the length of these fibers. They can be anywhere from... 800 to 1400 meters, huh. which is half a mile to a mile. Okay. Wow. And now, when they finish the spinning, they'll stay for one more week and they will turn into moths. Mm. But the moths, they won't stay in the uh, cocoons anymore. With the help of the, some kind of an enzyme, which comes out of a little hole about their mouths, they will melt an area on these cocoons so they can open up a hole everywhere and they can emerge to become a moth. But we don't want that, because uh, if that happens, we won't be able to continue spy products, right? So this is what we do. We destroy these worms in steam mops with steam. Well, the thing is, though, uh, we let some to live so they can reproduce, okay? <laughs> now, the ones which are let to live, uh, each one will lay about three to 400 eggs. They will live two more days, and they will die. Um, that means we're shortening their lifespan about two days. It makes you okay, feel better. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes. Now, how do we turn them into treads? First of all, we'll put them in hot water, which will soften them up a little bit. With the help of the... Just like that. Wow. Oh, interesting. <gasps> yeah, if you want to take pictures, go ahead. Whoa. Okay. Now, what we're going to have to do is we need to combine these silk filaments together so we can get a thread. Okay? You'll start with some from them. He's going to show you from uh, scratch. They have series of uh, warps and wets. Mm -hmm. but, like I said, they're much easier to make compared to the another ones. I mean, something like this only takes maybe about, I'll say, 20, 30 days uh, to finish by one person. And the, the other good thing about them is when they get dirty, you don't have to wash them, you just turn them over. Okay? This side. Now, when both sides get dirty, you can throw them in a washing machine. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to use mm -hmm. Wow.
Hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now the picture is going to be sharper, also it's going to be brighter than the other ones. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Only the surface is made with all... Like, long cuts. Yes. I have a question. It will be this, 100 nuts per square centimeter. If it exceeds that number, wow. it needs to go on a wall. Wow. Why? <laughs> well, two reasons. Number one, it's not going to last on the floor because the threads are going to be so fine. Right. Number two, it'll be so pricey, you won't want to step on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 144 per square centimeter, 64. They're about the same in size, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. For the price of this, you can buy maybe five of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, 144 per square centimeter, 169. Uh -huh. oh. 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 It's also almost like nine thousand dollars. Chinars, they will put their names on all oh, the carpets yeah. that they oh, want. Yeah. It's like buying a Rolex, yes. okay? Or like yeah. fifty-six yeah. per square yeah. centimeter. Wow! Yeah. Almost like thirty-five thousand. Whoa! Okay. Four hundred. For the price of this carpet right here, you can pretty much buy all the carpets on the world. Yeah. Oh. oh wow! But there's no free shipper. Oh, no, for sure. <laughs> if you buy this, I'm going to bring it to you myself. Yeah. <laughs>